In this video, I'm going to tell you and show you exactly how to set up an online paid workshop or online live event using Zoom and integrating it with either Eventbrite or PayPal so that you can collect uh, payments for those online events. So the first option is to integrate it with Eventbrite, and here's how to do that. First, you create a landing page for the event, which you have to do with either option. And I'm just going to use this event as an example, uh, an event of a client of mine. This is a marriage workshop. And uh, so you have the landing page. It talks about the class and what to expect and what you're going to learn. And then at the bottom, register now as the call to action, a time and a date, and then this buy tickets button. Uh, this buy tickets button came from Eventbrite. Okay, so once you have your landing page set up, you're going to have everything except for this buy tickets button on the bottom. And then you're going to go to Eventbrite and you're going to uh, log into your account. And it's just a free account, but they take a portion of the ticket sales. And then go up here to create event. And once you do that, it'll bring you to this area where you can choose a title. Uh, location will be an online event. Um, date, time, an image for the event, a little description. And then Step two is to create your tickets. You can create all the different types of tickets. So for this event, we have an early bird ticket and we have a normal registration that costs more. Um, you set the price for each. You set uh, the quantity maximum that you want for each ticket. And then you can go into the settings and also set a deadline for when you want the ticket sales to start and when you want that specific ticket sale to end. Um, so typically for an early bird ticket sale, you'd have it end yeah, of course, before the register, the normal tickets kick in and start being offered. And then you can choose what you want as a refund policy. And then I would just do it as a public page because the advantage of using Eventbrite is that you can use Eventbrite's search system uh, to get more publicity for your event, for your workshop. And people can discover your online event through Eventbrite. And that's one advantage in integrating it through Eventbrite and doing this option. And then pick a topic for your workshop and then click save and, or publish, and then you'll have the event. Then once that is done, you want to go into the your account and go into Manage Events. And then you'll click on your event. and then click on the invite and promote section. And then what you're gonna see here is website integrations. Uh, now what you can do first, you can go into email invitations and you can play around with that if you wanna send specific emails from here. Um, but, uh, or you can go to order options and the order confirmation, you can edit the uh, email that's going to get sent to them once they order a ticket through Eventbrite. And you can tell them, hey, watch out for another email that you're going to get once you're registered with more information on how to prepare for the workshop. And you can customize that as you as you want. Now, under the invite and promote section, you'll click on website and integrations. And in there, you're going to see uh, add checkout to your website. So this is the advantage uh, of going through Eventbrite is that you can just click on show me and it's going to give you an embed code right here on uh, where you can have a buy now button. So click on embed code and go ahead and copy and paste that onto your landing page at the bottom using whatever platform you're using for your website, just click the feature where you're allowed to add custom code uh, box. And then a little buy tickets button is going to pop up. And if you click on the buy tickets button, once you publish that, you can go in here and test it and click on the buy tickets button. And now you're going to have this little pop up box that keeps you it keeps people on your website, but it creates a pop up box that's synced to Eventbrite, where people can now purchase their ticket. And they click checkout and they go through the checkout process and then they end up still on your website, which is really nice. And it's just a nice slick way of doing it. Um, now, if you want, if you have a web developer on your team, 
you can customize this buy tickets button by just going into the embed code and they will know how to adjust this embed code to uh, change the size or the color of the buy tickets button to be whatever you want. Um, now, if you uh, wanted to embed on the page with your content, this option allows you to just do the entire event page. So Eventbrite publishes a page for your event and you could take that page and embed it on your website if you'd rather do that. Uh, but I suggest just creating your own landing page and then using the button feature. And as long as you have payments set up through Eventbrite, then you'll, you will receive a payout whenever uh, the event starts um, based on how many people signed up for tickets. And it's just an easy way to do it. Now, that's the, the first part of this. The second part is linking it up to Zoom because Zoom is where you're actually going to be hosting the event. So once somebody purchases a ticket through Eventbrite, you will be able to see in the uh, Manage Attendees tab, click on Orders, and it's going to show you all the orders. And of course, in here, I just have people's information uh, blurred out for privacy reasons. Uh, but there's people that have ordered tickets for this event, and it's going to have their name and their email listed here in Eventbrite. So what you do is you go over to your Zoom account, and now you have to make sure, now make sure you set up a Zoom account and add the webinar feature to the Zoom account. You have to have the webinar add-on to your account. Then go to webinars, schedule a webinar. You'll create a new webinar with the same name, a little description, the time, the date, how long it is. Registration, click, make sure that that is checked for required. You want registration to be required. You want, there to be a re you want there to be a password for people to have to type in to enter the webinar to add extra security to it. And then video, just have the host and panelists off as a default. Webinar options, you can have a Q&A feature. I definitely recommend having that checked. You can enable a practice section if you want so that you can mess around with it before people actually join. And then... Um, don't bother with only authenticated users can join. That's just an extra level of security, but it makes it more complicated for people to join. You can do an on-demand version of the webinar and you can check this to record the webinar automatically and then schedule your webinar. And then once that webinar is scheduled, um, now you can go into your webinar and once you have somebody who purchases an Eventbrite ticket and you'll get an email notification whenever somebody does, if you have that set up, if not, you just need to check in on it. You'll go into your webinar, you'll click over to your, see the registration link down here. Go ahead and just copy that registration link and put it in your browser. So here's the registration page for the Zoom webinar. By default, if you're using the Eventbrite option, anybody can go to this registration page and register for your webinar and get access to it without paying. But this is why you have to have the Eventbrite payment gate set up so that you're not giving this registration URL to anyone. Nobody has this registration URL. It's only for you. And whenever somebody gets an Eventbrite ticket, you go into Zoom, you take their information, you enter their name and email, and you register them manually for the Zoom webinar. And then they will get an email from Zoom giving them the access link, the access code, and that will allow them to join the workshop at the specified time. Um, so yes, that requires some manual effort. So if you have 500 people showing up to your online event, you're not gonna wanna manually enter in and register every person that buys an Eventbrite ticket. So what do you do? You can set up a Zapier integration. And if you've heard of Zapier, they, they allow you to do all types of integrations and they do allow you to integrate Eventbrite with Zoom. So that whenever somebody purchases a ticket to your event, Zapier automatically gets triggered and they will automatically register that person for your Zoom webinar. So you don't even have to manually worry about that at all. That's one option. The second option is the other part of how to do a paid online workshop using Zoom and that's using Zoom's PayPal integration. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna show you real quick that in your webinar settings, you can go over to email settings and you can customize the email that gets sent, the confirmation email to registrants. You can click edit 
And you can add in your own custom message there of anything you want to tell them to help them prepare for the event. You can even add in a link uh, if you need them to download something like a workbook or whatever. And you can uh, uh, customize the message that you have here. And then it has the default join links and all of that that you just keep there. Um, so that's a nice way to uh, add extra customization to what they get. Um, so the second way to set up an online workshop that's paid through Zoom is to use the PayPal uh, integration. So again, you'll set up your landing page um, and then you'll set up your Zoom webinar. Uh, but in the webinar settings, you'll go to account management, then go to webinar settings. And down here, uh, it gives you an option for allow option to charge registration fee. You're going to click edit and you're going to click, you're going to check that box. And then it gives you an option right here to connect to PayPal. You'll click connect to PayPal. It's going to bring you to a page where you log into your PayPal account and then it'll walk you through the steps to connect your PayPal account. And once that's all done, it's going to bring you back to Zoom and then this will be all set up. Then you go in and then you set up your webinar and automatically the webinar, what's gonna happen is, is once your webinar is set up, see this is set up through Eventbrite and that's why it's not gonna show up here. Um, but if you did the PayPal integration, when you go back to your webinar, you're going to see a, uh, when you go to the registration link, okay, Instead of it saying register right here at the bottom, it's going to say pay and register. And so when they when they put in their name and email and then they click pay and register, it'll open up. Uh, it'll send them over to PayPal where they're able to enter their credit card information and sign up through that. Then it's going to bounce them back to Zoom where it's going to give them the confirmation page that they registered for the uh, online workshop. Um, so some advantages to this option is that it's more streamlined. Um, it's all in Zoom. You're not going to Eventbrite at all. Uh, the disadvantage is that uh, it takes people off of your website. I like the look of when you have a button here that literally just opens up a nice little box for them to order on your website, which is the nice advantage of using Eventbrite. Um, Obviously, if you go through the Zoom PayPal integration option, you're not having to manually enter Eventbrite registers, registrars to the Zoom registration, or you don't have to set up the whole Zapier integration. Instead, what you do is you create your own button on your landing page, and that button takes people to the webinar registration page. And then the disadvantage is that it takes them off your website, right? Once they get to Zoom, they'll register, and then it keeps them on Zoom. And that's the disadvantage. Now, if you have a web developer on your team or you have some extra programming skills, you can uh, set up a Zoom API where you embed this webinar registration page into your website. And there is a way to do that, um, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Uh, but if you have a web developer or you have some extra technical skills, you can and zoom tells you how to do it and you can go through their help center um, but you can embed this webinar registration page onto your website so that people do stay on your website as they're registering for the for the for the webinar and that's one way around that it's still not as nice looking as the event bright box that pops up um, but you know it's one way around that so that those are the two main ways that you can set up an online paid workshop using Zoom by either integrating it to Eventbrite or integrating it through the Zoom PayPal integration feature so that you can run an online event using Zoom and you can get paid for it and you can monetize that event. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to subscribe to the channel where you will get more tips on video marketing and how to use video to grow your business. In this case, it was live video. And I'm Chad Grevelese, and I hope to be able to continue to help you to expand your audience online using video strategy. And I will see you next time.